Let's say you're developing a new application. Can you use the same interface as one of your competitors uses? If not, how similar can they be? How similar is too similar? What if you develop a killer new feature? Can you prevent one of your competitors from stealing it? Is it possible that this killer new feature could violate the antitrust laws? What if you quit your job? When you get a new job, do you need to forget everything you learned at the old one? These are important questions for software designers, and they are as much legal questions as they are engineering questions. Tort law, the law of injuries and accidents, tells us whether a product's design is reasonably safe. Interface design choices raise copyright law questions. Protecting new and innovative features depends on patent law. And taking know-how with you when you change jobs is the law of trade secrets. These aren't questions you want to ask at the end of the design process. These are legal considerations best thought about at the start. Anytime you're designing a product, you are making decisions that have legal implications. You are making decisions that put a new product into the world. And any product, no matter how safe or well-designed, can run into legal issues. Penn Carey Law School's course on the Innovation Advantage will show you how lawyers, judges, and regulators, those who make and enforce the law, think about these issues. This course will help you anticipate their questions so that you'll have answers when they ask, or even better, help you design products that avoid these questions altogether. What if a user misuses your software and hurts themselves or someone else? Can you be held liable? Possibly, if you didn't consider what the law calls reasonable alternative designs for your software, or if you didn't understand how your users would have expected that software to work. What if you're designing what the law calls a cyber-physical system, a robot, a drone, an autonomous vehicle? There's no such thing as a perfectly safe product. So how safe is safe enough? Is it enough to warn users about the danger of potential misuse, or do you need to design your product to make that misuse impossible? Understanding issues like these won't just help you avoid problems. It will help you design better, safer products and make design decisions that will help your company win in the marketplace and help you get ahead in your career. Being able to avoid mistakes before they become problems, before someone is injured, lawyers start asking questions, and regulators open investigations will get you noticed. This program integrates traditional classroom instruction with case studies, site visits, real-world examples to introduce you to all aspects of interacting with the law. Its instructors have real-world experience with software development, guiding startups and mature companies alike, and working with legislators and regulators from around the world. It will provide you with an opportunity also to interact with other similarly interested software engineers, product managers, and policy professionals. This added dimension of interaction will deepen your professional network and offer new insights into what you learn. We hope to see you in Philadelphia for this exciting program, The Innovation Advantage, Legal Insights into Building What's Next.